the number one urban warfare expert in the world was asked about Gaza. And that's what he had to say. Watch especially if you're one of those who say, this is too much, Israel has got to stop ceasefire now. Basically his point, which I agree with, is if we decide that regardless of the legality of Israel's actions, the human suffering in Gaza is too much and Israel just has to give up and let Hamas win, we'll be creating infinitely more suffering for Palestinians and for many other people in the region. Not just because Hamas will regroup and attack again like they explicitly promised to do, since that would publicly prove Hamas has found the magic formula to defeat a western country. Do whatever war crime you wish, rape, kill, kidnap as many civilians as possible, then go hide behind your civilians, then you're immune. All other terror groups in the world will just watch and learn, replicating this MO on a massive scale, causing untold suffering for their neighbors and for their own citizens. So what should you do as a Western citizen who truly wants to end this misery? Of course, you can keep demanding that Israel abide by international law, like it has consistently done since the beginning. But you should also put all your pressure and demands on Hamas. Tell them to stop hiding behind civilians, stop holding civilian hostages, and stop attacking Israeli civilians. When Hamas stops with this triple war crime, the civilian casualty numbers in Gaza will immediately and significantly drop. And if you say, like many do, well Israel can defend itself, but not like this. I would ask, so how can they defend their citizens? You'll most probably say something like, this is the, the right, right question, question to be asked to the, the military, military experts, experts which, which I, I am, am not, not one. one. Well, want to guess who is a military expert? That's right, this guy.